So you grew up in New York, is that right? Yeah, for sure. I grew up in um, East Harlem. Can you tell me more about that, just growing up before we jump into everything else? So, I mean, I grew up in East Harlem. I obviously grew up playing basketball outside, you know, playing in the parks and stuff like that. And that's really where I I gained my love for basketball. I actually didn't grow up playing basketball. I was I used to skateboard when I was younger. But um, like, as I got taller and everyone was playing basketball, I decided, you know, I can give this a try. And then I ended up falling in love with it. Absolutely. So, obviously, uh, Shane, you know, being from New York, too, recruited you. So, how did that relationship start and, the, and what do you think of him? Uh, Shane, Shane's a great guy. I mean, he, he called me, he reached out to me, and, you know, he let me know that there, there was a real interest there and that he let me know a little bit about himself, how he grew up in New York. And we know some of the same, same people, so it, it was real easy getting to know Shane, and, and, and that's my guy now. So, you know, obviously it worked out for the best, and, and now I'm going to K-State, so I really... I was really um, happy and enjoyed getting to know him. And then what are your thoughts of uh, Bruce Weber and, you, you know, the staff as a whole? I mean, I feel like, you know, Kansas State, uh, Coach Weber, he's done a great job while he's been there. He's been there for a long time, and he's done some really great things while there. I mean, winning the conference a couple times, getting to the Elite Eight, making the tournament, uh, plenty of 21 seasons. So, you know, for me, I feel like, you know, the, the going there, learning from someone like that who, who's done, Winning at the highest level, I feel like there's so much I could learn from it. And then the rest of the coaching staff as well, I just feel like they really know what they're talking about. And a strength coach, I, I met with him and talked to him a little bit on the Zoom. And I was really intrigued and really loved what I saw what he was doing with the, with the guys. So that was a big part for me as well. So what role do they want you to fill right away? And uh, what do they like about your game for the long term? Uh, they feel like for me, you know, they, they, they didn't have anyone like me. They had a real need for someone with my skill set and that, you know, that stretch forward, that skill forward type position. And they felt like I'd come in, make an impact right away, and then give them something, you know, to, to some veteran leadership in terms of playing in ACC two years and just give them something that they didn't have before and fill a big void and have a, be a major contributor for the team. For sure. So assuming you've never been to Manhattan, from afar, what's the perception of the town and the campus and the school to you? Uh, I mean, I have family in Kansas, but they're not all from Manhattan. But, you know, for me, I feel like, you know, it's a, it's a great school. It's a great campus. Um, they Everyone's been telling me, you know, you're going from the Big Apple to the Little Apple. So, I mean, uh, yeah. I'm just looking forward to it. All of me here is it's great people. It's, it's really welcoming. So I'm really excited to, to get there for the first time. So you got family in Kansas. Where's that at? Uh, I think they live in Overland Park. Oh, yeah. So KC area. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever been around there at all? Or? Yeah, yeah. When I go visit them, I've been around there a couple of times. For sure. Um, what, what other schools showed interest in you in the portal? Uh, you know, it was, a, it was a lot of schools. I mean, it got like Vanderbilt, um, University of Utah, uh, DePaul, uh, UC Santa Barbara. It was like, you know, I was in the portal for a while, so it, it felt like almost, you know, Almost every week or so, every other day, like a new school is calling. So yeah. it's too many schools to almost name. For sure. Do you have a – were all those schools offering as well, or is there a shorter list of actual offers from schools? Uh, honestly, it was – to me, I mean, any school that called me, they all told me basically the same thing. Like there was a, there was a major interest, and they really, uh -huh. really intrigued me. So I, I took it as – I mean, it's a little different than high school. Like they don't really say – you know, we're offering you. No, no school, even K-State didn't say that, but, you know, yep. it's just like, oh, let me get on the Zoom with you and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then explain your time at Wake Forest. What was it like playing in the ACC, and why did you feel like it was it's the right time to move on? I, I enjoyed it. I love Wake Forest. It's a great university. Uh, Coach Forbes and his staff are amazing. They're going to do a great job over there. And obviously, uh, Coach Manning and, and all those guys that recruited me there, I had a great time. I learned a lot playing with some great players like, you know, Sean D. Brown at Michigan, Olivier Saar, Kentucky, uh, Brandon Childress. So, you know, I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed it. I learned a lot. I gained a lot of experience playing in ACC, playing against great competition, playing against great schools. So I feel like it's only going to uh, help me when it comes to coming to Kansas State this fall. Absolutely. Uh, did you watch any K-State games this year? I mean, obviously it wasn't, you know, a great season, but they finished the year on a, on a nice note. Um, what did you think of that season, if you did see any of their games? I actually didn't watch any games like while it was going on, but I watched some of the, the games from, you know, just re-watching it mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I, I mean, Coach, Coach Weber, he had a lot of young guys, and he played, he played them, and, and they gained a lot of experience, kind of similar to how I felt my, my first two years. Like, I, I learned a lot, and I feel like 
you know, this year coming up with the people we got coming in and the people they got there, it's like the sky's the limit and we could do a lot of great things. Yeah, uh, I, I guess, yeah, like how much does bringing in um, other transfers on top of you too kind of help you think that this team's really headed in the right direction too? For sure, because, you know, like obviously we did, we people transferring in haven't played in the Big 12, but we played in other conferences and we have our own experiences and then we got, get to go there and learn from the guys that have been through it, know the ins and outs of the league and while also bringing in and tying in what we know. I just feel like it's a recipe for success because we all can learn from each other and, and just help uh, bring different things to the table to, to add to the success. So what's the plan going forward? I think I know you, you can uh, get on campus here in a couple of months. So what are you going to do now and between then? And then what, when do you plan on getting on campus and uh, joining the team? Uh, well, right now I'm just at home. I'm working out, uh, making sure I get my workouts in and stuff like that and finishing up my semester at Wake Forest. And just watching, watching as much film as I can. On <laughs> when I come in, I'm not, I'm not totally learning everything new, and just trying to build relationships with the guys. And I think sometime the first week of June, uh, I plan on coming in. You said first week of June. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then, uh, have you talked to anyone on the team yet? Uh, I've talked to, uh, to. Um, a few guys, we actually just made a new group chat with a bunch of the new guys uh, uh, the other day. So, you know, obviously a Marquise. I knew Marquise for a while. Yeah. Uh, being from New York. Um, Nigel, I, I, I follow some of the guys on uh, Instagram. Max, being from New York as well. Um, who else? Actually, on my first Zoom call, on a second Zoom call I had with the coaching staff, I actually see Mike, Mike McGrear for the, um, for the first time. I've seen him as well. So he was kind of the first guy to reach out. Good stuff. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I mean, if you what, are they just excited to have you there? I'm, I'm guessing those how those conversations yeah, went. For sure, for sure. I, that's another part. Like I felt like you know, they they were on um, me, recruiting me the hardest, and they really made me feel like you know they needed me and they really loved my game and they want to really be there, help me get better, and they felt like I could really help the team. So it was it was a match made in heaven. So you still got three years of eligibility left if you decide to use them all and you could use them at K-State. Uh, what would you say you'd like to improve on, you know, at K-State in the next three years if you decide, do decide to stay three years? For me, I feel like, obviously, I want to, uh, all aspects of my game, I feel like I want to be, obviously, shooting is my strength, but I feel like I'd be a more consistent shooter, more consistent player, uh, continue work on my defensive ability, my versatility, my rebounding, and just really all everything. I feel like there's a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, things in my game that I really wasn't able to display as much at Wake Forest for, um, you know, just lack of experience and just just going through the, the season. But I feel like at K-State with a different opportunity and stuff like that, there's a lot of um, aspects to my game, like my playmaking and, and my versatility and stuff like that that I'll be able to display. And then just a, a couple more. I, I mean, this might be the last one, but what, what is your goal, you know, at K-State as a team um, and what do you what do you hope to accomplish with them? Well, like I said, Bruce Weber, Coach Weber has done a great job there in, in terms of winning and stuff like that. And like you said, last year they were playing a lot of the young guys and they didn't have the best season. But you know, this year the goal is, is the same. Like with the, talking with the coaches, is is to, to do big things in the Big Twelve, try and win the conference, get to the tournament, and make a run. So that's that's what we've been talking about, and I feel like that's more than possible. <laughs>